Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So the movie I'm going to be reviewing for you tonight is 2015's Mr. Right. So this is a Netflix movie that has actually been on my queue for a couple years now, and I just randomly chose it to watch tonight. So in this movie, you have Martha, played by Anna Kendrick, who has fallen for the perfect guy in Francis, played by Sam Rockwell, but he has a fatal flaw. He is a hitman on the run from a from the cartel who has actually employed him. So this movie is directed by let me get the guy's name Paco Cabezas. I might be saying that wrong, but Paco Cabezas. He's done a couple episodes of some shows, but nothing really big. And in terms of scores, we'll go from the lowest to the highest. The lowest we have is a 49 critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. We have a 52 Metacritic score, a 57 Rotten Tomatoes audience score, and a 6.3 IMDb score. My score is not going to be that high. There is only three things that I liked about this movie. And I was kind of disappointed because I liked the plot. So maybe four. I liked the plot. I liked Anna Kendrick. I liked Sam Rockwell. And I liked the chemistry that they had between themselves. So, everything else in this, including the execution and the villains, was not good at all. I'm glad you got you got to see some personality with the two main characters. Like I said, I really liked them in the movie. But the story was kind of nonsensical. The villains were very basic. The action was kind of cool. But, again, it could have been so much better. So, overall, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. And that is my review for 2015's Netflix movie, Mr. Right. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.